Hey there everyone, Ateish here, back again with another video and in this video we're gonna talk about competitive programming. Not just I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna show you the exact path that a beginner should take in order to master competitive programming. But again, remember one thing, there is no such magic involved. It includes a lot of dedication, hard work and most importantly, consistency. Before I move forward and show you the exact path that a beginner should take while learning the competitive programming criteria and this entire paradigm, there are a few things that you need to understand. The biggest problem that everybody faced while seeing these competitive programming questions is freezing out. So why does that happen that when you see these questions, you freeze out and immediately you see that I'm not made for it, probably I'm not a good programmer, or probably my thinking ability is not that much high. And there is a very big reason why you're thinking out like that, why you're freezing out like that. Now let's do a fun experiment in order to understand that why you actually get freeze out in those competitive programming. Now just imagine this situation, you don't need to do that exactly what I'm saying. So take up any student from 5th or 6th standard who is interested in science. Teach him the laws of motion, yes those the same from the Newton. Teach him even the equation of those laws of motion. Now take that student and give him the paper of IIT. In case you don't know, IIT is one of the toughest exam of engineering in India and has been approved like really tough by other universities as well. So give him the examination paper of that which includes the question from these laws of motion. What he's going to feel in those questions? He's going to feel that I know these laws of motion, still I'm not able to crack down these questions, they are based on the same concept. So he's going to feel that there is something wrong with me, probably I'm not smart enough. But we all know that the problem is not about the smartness, the problem is he just knows those syntax of those equation. He was never prepared gradually so that he can crack down those tough level of question. When you see these questions which are of level 5 or 10 and you are preparing on the ground zero, you will never be able to solve those problems. Exactly same is happening with you. Since you know just the programming syntax and some basic loops and function and you are seeing those questions which are really tough, you are getting freeze out and you are thinking, you are questioning your capability. You should not do that. There is a process through which you can learn the competitive programming, but the most important thing is gradually. We should move gradually on a level 1 to level 8 or 10 so that you can crack down those problems. So the next time when you see those questions and you freeze out, don't just get scared off. It's not your problem. It's the problem that you haven't prepared gradually. So what is the solution of that? Before we talk about the solution of that, we need to understand the big why, why these competitive programming exist. Once you crack down, once you nail it down, then we're gonna walk through the path that you should follow. There is only one and one simple goal behind these competitive programming. The goal is to prepare a programmer such that his logical ability increases and he's able to write code for the challenging situation. That's it, that's the whole idea behind competitive programming. So if you want to increase your logical thinking and ability to solve problems quickly and in an optimized way, there are two ways that you can do that. Approach number one. The approach number one is really simple. You understand a programming language, its syntax, and try to create as many projects as you would like to have. These projects should be challenging so that you face difficulties in things like integrating payment gateway and designing a system in which somebody just throws up a request, gets some data and all of that. Now this is also very challenging and since you work on a real life project, some people like to follow this approach. And yes, you get it right, not everybody needs to go into competitive programming. As long as you are working in improving your coding ability and writing proper logics for that, that's the whole idea. So many people opt out for this approach of project-based learning. If you're making enough complex projects, then definitely you are gonna increase your programming ability and probably you never need to go into competitive programming. And once you understand a lot of projects in that and you move into the competitive programming after that, you will realize automatically that since you are able to solve these problems and complex structures and everything, you actually can do really, really good in competitive programming as well. The second approach that people usually take out is definitely in both of the approach, you need the programming basics and syntax to be down. It's not like when you are seeing a problem and you are looking out how to write a for loop in that programming language, it's not going to help that much. 
So the second approach is to get started with Combray programming. Once you have nailed down the syntax of that, probably made just one project in that, a very miniature one, and you have understood the basics of the data structure as well, then you can move into the Combray programming. But again, the big challenge is that most of these websites that are out there, they're pretty amazing. And the challenges on these programming websites are pretty high end. So you have two options, either to filter out on that website, usually these websites do have option to filter out, and only see the level zero or level one challenges so that you can see them. And it's okay to not to get answers of these challenge at, at challenges at first, because you haven't prepared for them. Once you are actually able to give them time, like five months or six months or probably a year, then only you will get better on that. Now some people do that really great in just one month or two months, but again, everybody is different. Now I can help you in picking out these challenges in a very nice manner. Now we have prepared a set of 30 challenges and these all challenges are ground zero challenges. So once you have understand the syntax of programming, then I highly recommend to take out these challenges. These challenges will help you to improve your programming skills, your thinking ability, your logical ability. And we have specially taken care that these should be ground zero challenge and should take you only one step after that so that you gradually see that. What's more important about these challenges is you don't have to look about their solution. Every single day we are going to unlock a new challenge and the very next day we are going to unlock the solution of previous day challenge and will unlock a new solution. Now don't worry, all these challenges and all these course uh, in that is absolutely free. The whole idea, the whole goal behind creating these 30 day challenge was to keep you consistent in learning a programming language and solving those problems and also not to scare you off by seeing these challenges. We want you to learn programming not to get scared off uh, by seeing these very high end challenges. So we have kept these challenges absolutely for beginner friendly and based on your feedback eventually we'll add more such courses so that we can have more level 2 or level 3 kind of challenges of course along with solutions. Currently, this is the very beginner phase of these challenges, so you can call them as version one. And currently, we are releasing out them with the challenges based on Java and challenges based on Python. And what you have to do to take these challenges? Nothing much, just download the Learn Code Online app. It's totally an ad-free experience, and the courses are absolutely for free. But there is one catch as of now. As of now, these challenges are available only and only in our Android app, absolutely for free. Eventually in future, we'll bring them on more platform as well with more features. But as of now, this is just version one. These challenges are definitely going to help you to bring up your programming skills on to the next level and you are going to absolutely love them. Now be cautious, some of these challenges are there to actually push you beyond your limits. But don't worry, we're going to release the solution very next day. So don't wait for more, download the Learn Code Online app and take these free challenges. As of now, the challenges are on Java and Python, but soon we are going to release it more. Now, one more big announcement that I want to make here. If you are already good in competitive programming or anything like that, we would love to hire you on this project as well. So if you are a person who has these knowledge about computer programming and problem solving skills, uh, just get me connected on Instagram and throw me up a message. I would definitely love to contact you. And we want to bring up these challenges onto the next level. And we would love to hire you for this project. So in case you are uh, interested in that, uh, please catch me up. I would love to talk to you. In the meantime, take down these challenges, download our Learn Code Online app, and don't get scared off. It's okay to feel scary and not to solve all the problems. Eventually, everybody gets better by being consistent and working hard and doing it every single day. So don't worry about too much and take these challenges and enjoy programming.